Hey guys and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to try to do a comprehensive guide of things you can do to try to properly pair your Amazon Alexa remote to your Fire TV device. Now if you've already successfully paired your device in the past and it's not working right now for some reason, the first thing I would suggest is swapping out the batteries for some new ones just to make sure that that's not the cause because the batteries they don't last forever at some point they're going to run out so if you've already successfully paired your remote then that's what i would do but if this is the first time you're launching your amazon fire tv device and you're having issues with pairing on this particular screen that's what we're going to work through right now so the first time i launched my device i was having issues with pairing my remote so if you go through the steps they say if you put batteries in, that should automatically pair it to your device. If that doesn't work, the next thing they suggest to do is hold the home button down for about 10 seconds or so, and they say that that will be the option that officially pairs it to your device. Now, the first time I went through this on my TV, that didn't happen and it didn't pair. So what I did was I unplugged the power source and let the device not have power for about 30 seconds or so, so it could reset itself. I plugged it back in, and then the second time through, when I put batteries in, it went ahead and paired properly. So we're gonna try that here in this video. Right now, we're gonna try to pair this remote by simply putting the batteries in, closing up the back, and you can see that as soon as I did that, it automatically paired with the device. Again, if that doesn't work, go ahead and hold down the home button for about 10 seconds or so, and that should pair it as well. So now that we've officially paired our remote, um, hopefully this is what's gonna work for you. If it doesn't, then again, I would just suggest keep unplugging the device, plug it back in, and try to cycle through the option of putting the batteries back in and holding down the home button for 10 seconds, and keep doing that until it works. It should work eventually but if it doesn't then you might be in a situation where i would recommend contacting amazon's customer service to see if they can help you with your uh, potential problems that you run into now if you're looking to pair a new remote that's what we're going to go to in the next step of this video so if you've already had a remote device and you purchased a separate one that you want to pair and you're having troubles with that that's going to be the next step in this video now that we're on the home page, we're gonna go through the options to pair a new remote other than the one that came with your device. So take the remote that came with your device and go ahead and click the home button, hold it down for a few seconds so that the settings screen pops up, go over and click on settings. And then go down and over to controllers and Bluetooth devices and click on that. Once you've gone to that spot, the first option it should go to is the Amazon Fire TV remotes. Click on that and then go down to where it says add new remote and you go ahead and click on that. So it's gonna search for that new remote and to pair it, you need to hold down the home button for 10 seconds. Once it's discovered, select the remote from the list and you should be paired and ready to go at that point. So in this video, guys, we've gone through a bunch of different troubleshooting options to get your Alexa voice remote working on your Amazon Fire TV device. We've touched on changing out the batteries, how to pair it initially on launch and how to pair a new remote device. So hopefully this helped you out. If you have any questions, throw those down in the comment section. Subscribe for more and check out all of our Amazon Fire TV videos over on our YouTube channel. Thanks guys for stopping on in. We hope to see you in future videos. Bye.